Hello everyone, in this video I have a walkthrough on how to get to 2500 trophies while playing Clash of Clans in the Builder Base. Not your home village, but the new expansion part of Clash of Clans. So, the first thing that I want to say is to make sure and get your Builder Hall to level 5. That's really important because you're going to get a bunch more defenses and you're also going to get just a bunch of extra buildings and it's just going to take longer for your opponent to get that 50% on you and get that easy one star from an all archer attack. Now uh, the next thing I want to say is uh, make sure to get your clock tower upgraded. I had my clock tower at just like level 3 and level 3 is enough to get a 10 minute boost duration. I mean go all the way with your clock tower if you want but uh, I just went with the level 3 and I was able to get to 2500 trophies with that. The bigger the boost you have, the faster you're going to be able to get stuff done and the faster you're going to be able to, you know, upgrade all of your defenses and the faster you're going to be able to raid because when you have your clock tower going, your uh, troops finish finish quicker and so does the regeneration of your battle machine. Okay, so that's the other thing, talking about the battle machine I want to get into really quick, is try to get your battle machine as soon as you can. I believe you can only get the battle machine once you get to Builder Hall level 5, so it is very important that you get uh, Builder Hall level 5 first, start upgrading, upgrading your clock tower, and when you can, get your battle machine. Now what else I want to say is make sure to, you can kind of do this in whatever order you want, but I think the multi-mortar is probably the most, I mean some people are going to have a different opinion than me of course, but I think the multi-mortar is probably going to be one of the most important things to upgrade first. I mean, look at this range. With the, the base design I have, it can pretty much cover everything, almost everything. And if someone's using like um, a full archer raid like I'm using, they're probably going to not be as effective because my multi-mortar should be able to kill pretty much anything that's attacking from the outside. Now, the other thing that I upgraded was the crusher and then these double cannons. I try to do these uh, three types of defenses first. Uh, the crusher... If you're going to get raided by giants, the stronger your crusher is, the more hit points it's going to have, and that's probably one of the most important things. The damage gets increased a little bit for each level, but it's not that huge. It's the hit points that really matter, I think, honestly, because uh, the longer this thing can stay alive, the more huge hits it's going to have on those giants. And if your crusher dies, the giants are just going to be able to steamroll, like a mass giant raid will be able to steamroll the rest of this base or anyone else's base. So it's really important to have a strong crusher. Now the other thing I wanted to point out are these double cannons. These guys are very important too because they do, let's see here, 67 damage per hit and then they do four shots. So that's that's a ton of damage right there. And they, they are attacked pretty quick too. I mean, there's not very much time in between each one of those double or, or four shots, I mean quad shots. And one of these guys will instantly kill an archer. I think even these guys, these cannons, I don't even think the cannons can one-shot an archer. I think it takes two hits. So yeah, definitely get your double cannon stronger. And then the other thing is, I'm not doing it with this base design, but I looked at the top people on the leaderboards, and what they do is they've got both of their archer towers in this uh, fast attack mode. And with the fast attack mode, I mean, you've got like this 96 damage per second. And I think once you upgrade again, it'll be over 100 damage per second. So yeah, because uh, you can get these guys to level 5. Anyways, um, yeah, I would I would uh, look into the top player's base designs and maybe, maybe use that and then go in this uh, fast attack mode versus the long range mode. Anyway, back to what I got a little off track there. Uh, back to what I was saying. Upgrade your multi-mortar first and then either upgrade your double cannons or upgrade your crusher. Those are probably the three most important defenses to upgrade first. Then what I would suggest is that you start upgrading just whatever you can that is cheap and has a low build time. <laughs> now, the reason why I'm saying that is because the more things that you can get upgraded, the longer it's going to take to kill everything. You're going to get more hit points on it. Not only that, especially your defenses, the more you upgrade them, the more damage they're going to get. And then overall, the more if you start upgrading just everything, everything that you can, and um, the cheaper it is and the faster it is to upgrade, you're going to rapidly improve the strength of your defense, or the, not the strength of your defense, the strength of your base. So if you just 
you know, if I say, okay, I just want to upgrade this double cannon to level five, that's the only thing I'm going to focus on. And for my, from level four to five, it's going to take one day, a, a whole day just to get that one level. Whereas if I focus on a bunch of smaller things like these mines, it's only going to take me one hour to get this upgrade. Then I can go to my next mine. It'll take me another hour to get this upgrade. And you keep upgrading those things with small duration of time. All of a sudden, you're going to have a lot more things that are going to do a lot more damage. And it'll be a lot more effective than just upgrading this double cannon in one day to level five. It's, it's just really going to... It's going to be more effective. So yeah, that's that's my next advice to you guys. Upgrade as much as you can. Look for the cheap things. These mines are very cheap. And look for the things that have low build times, which is one hour. And that's what I'm focusing on. So uh, for example, right now, this Archer Tower is the last thing, or one of the last defenses I have that's really cheap. And it's only going to take me eight hours. If I upgrade this Archer Tower that's level four to level five, it's going to take me a day. So I'm not going to upgrade that. I'm going to go with anything that's less than a day right now where I'm sitting. This hidden Tesla, that'll take 10 hours. So I'll probably upgrade that sometime soon. My Crusher, that'll take one day. I'm not going to work on that. Uh, these Firecrackers, very cheap. And it's only going to take four hours. So I'll probably upgrade that soon as well. So I just hope I'm getting my point across to you. Okay, so the next thing I want to focus on is talking about my attack strategy. I'm using only Archers, as you can see. And I've got them all to level 10. So I said to focus on getting the mainly all of your defenses and get them, uh, get whatever's cheapest upgraded first and whatever has the long or lowest amount of duration to upgrade, make sure to upgrade that first. However, the strategy that I'm using is just archers. So from your star laboratory, try and focus on getting, if you're going to use my strategy, just focus on getting your archer upgrades. That would be my advice. If you do want to upgrade other stuff, I would advise upgrading your Barbarians and your Giants. But don't worry about anything else if you're going to use my strategy. Now, the only reason I would say to upgrade the Barbarians and the Giants is depending on the base you go up against, sometimes you you probably will need to use other units than just Archers because some bases are very well designed against a full Archer raid. But the majority of the time, if you just keep raiding over and over and over again, Archers will get you to 2,500 trophies if you're just using archers. Now, the reason I'm telling you to get them upgraded to the max level is because once they're at the max level, they have, let's see here, an extra two archers per per one of these army camps. So instead of six archers, I now have eight at one, each one of these guys. That's a total of eight more troops total, <laughs> if that makes sense to you. So, you know, initially I had only 24 uh, 24 archers but as soon as I got them to level 10 then I had 32 archers total okay and then when I raid I've got 32 archers and then I've got this battle machine so I make sure to here actually I'll just show you I'll show you some replays of what I do when I'm attacking and uh, one other point before I show you these replays make sure to use your clock tower whenever you have a free boost make sure to do it just make sure to click it and make sure to be using it effectively. I don't have anything building right now and I don't have anything upgrading. So I'm not doing uh, my advice right now, but my advice is to always have something upgrading if you can and always have something being upgraded for, for your buildings if you can. And then whenever you have your boost available, click that boost and make sure it's going. That's going to help you get up up higher in the trophy levels the faster or fast as fast as you can. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys some raids I did. So I just lost this last raid I did a minute ago, but I'm going to show you some of these other ones that I had victories on. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop into this attack here. And uh, I do want to say I do not have the best base defense. I definitely don't. But the attacking is where uh, this strategy works very well. Base defense style, at, at least, is what I'm trying to get. Okay, so what I'm doing right here is I'm just kind of destroying stuff on the outer perimeter first. And then I saw that right here, this builder hall is in a little slot on, all on its own. This guy made his defenses so that the builder hall, you could get access to it. And then you wouldn't focus on anything else. So once I get my, uh, what's it called, battle machine inside this little area, 
I'm going to be able to get that Builder Hall. I know for sure. But the first thing I need to do is target down any type of defenses that's going to attack my uh, battle machine. So that's what I'm trying to do. I cleared out the outside stuff, made sure that my battle machine would start attacking this wall and would go straight towards this builder hole. And then the next step I did was I just pumped out some archers up here where there is a cannon here and a cannon here. And then I uh, just dropped a couple more archers behind my battle machine and we were able to take out the, the builder hole. And we're going to get a couple more buildings destroyed. I think we might even get this double cannon. Yep, we got the double cannon there. The hidden Tesla I don't think is going to fall. I think that's where the raid ends right here. But yeah, there's 84% with two stars just by using archers and a battle machine. Very, very strong. And I ended up winning that raid too. And got 130,000 gold and elixir. So yeah, that's the other thing. The higher the trophies you get, oh, you're going to be making a lot better income. Okay, I'm going to show you another raid. Just going to show you uh, two more. Two more here just to get the point across of what I'm trying to do. So if, you're get, if your enemy has an easy base to get to that builder hall, I would advise going for the builder hall. If it's hard to get to the Builder Hall, then I would advise uh, pumping archers all around the outside of the base and just trying to get that one star. But on this one, once again, I saw it was decently easy to get to the Builder Hall. So I cleared buildings that were on the outside in the way to the Builder Hall. And then I uh, set my battle machine down. And then I tried to focus down as quick as I could any type of defenses that was going to be able to attack my battle machine. So for example, this double cannon right here is focused on my battle machine, so I tried to start killing with these archers. I was a little too slow, but it really didn't matter because we were able to kill the battle or kill the builder hole, and now I'm gonna destroy the rest of these buildings and we already have the two star. So anything else that we destroy as of right now, it's just gonna be extra. I'll just speed it up a little bit for this second. Yeah, as you can see, just uh, kinda hammering away, don't have any other archers left, and that's it. So we got 71%. But once again, two stars was enough to secure the victory for us with 71%. And our opponent didn't even get a star on us in that uh, battle right there. So that was pretty awesome. All right, and I'm going to show you this last one here. Got two stars on this guy as well. All right, let's see here. Okay, I think on this one I actually did do the strategy. Well, maybe I didn't. Maybe I went straight for the Builder Hall. Well, I guess I, I, guess I didn't go all around here let's see I'll just speed it up for a second here oh yep here okay this is the strategy I was talking about I didn't know for sure if I'd be able to get to that builder hole so what I did was I put archers all around the outside of the base and I tried to make sure that they uh, targeted separate buildings all around to make sure that everything was getting hit at the same time and I could try to do as much damage as possible now right here I'm trying to focus down this cannon so it doesn't kill my archers I'm trying to get it um, killed as soon as possible I'm trying to focus down this hidden Tesla so that stops striking my battle machine and now we're bit we're sitting really good we already have the one star we got 71 percent now it's just a matter of trying to get to that builder hall i didn't know for sure if i was going to be able to get to the builder hall on this one but i had an opportunity i saved a couple archers and i sent them in and they went straight for the builder hall at the end and we got another two stars again and that's about all i have yep there we go okay so yeah those those are the tips i have for you my base design, I mean, feel free to take it. Go ahead. I think it works out pretty darn well, but I don't think it works as well as some of those top guys on the leaderboards. For example, here, if I just show you really quickly, while you guys are still watching, I mean, and you can look at this on your own. Oh, shoot. I'm going in the wrong place. Yeah, here we go. Like, I think it's this guy right here. I'm going to visit his base. Yep, here it is. This is that base I was talking about. I am probably going to switch my base design to this guy's base design. But yeah, as you can see, he's got all of his archer towers, or both of them, that is, in the fast attack mode versus the long range mode. And yeah, I'm, I'm thinking this is probably going to be a lot more effective than uh, the base design I'm using right now. Anyways, this base design worked for me to get to 2,500 trophies, so feel free to use it. I hope this was helpful for all of you. I'm definitely going to be making some more videos. And uh, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to see more Clash of Clans videos. Leave a like if you liked the video. And I'll see you guys next time.